the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? Then they replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind or on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Once again, good morning to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, as we celebrate the solemnity of saints Peter and Paul, for us, sa religious, no? before we take our first profession of vows, no? I take my first profession of vows as a temporary member of the congregation last 2013. And I took the name Peter because I also celebrate it today, no? the birth, my birthday. So that's why I take his name, Peter. No? Jose Felix Peter Cortez. No? Because most of us in the religious congregation have their names, no? after the saints. No? So yung mga, yung sa, santos nga, mga ginasundan. No? So I take the name Peter no? to follow the life of what he has done in our church. No? And also in, in, uh, in our, uh, in the Pauline family, no? in our congregation, we celebrate tomorrow the Feast of St. Paul. No? So all of us, even here in Iloilo, we have our community here with the daughters of St. Paul. No? Kagsaamon, saganan, no? the Society of St. Paul. No? We have a celebration to celebrate also the Feast of St. Peter. Ah, sorry, St. Paul. I remember when I was in Rome, no? ang amon nga general house sa Society of St. Paul, malapit lang sa... Uh, St. Paul outside the wall, no? one of the major basilicas in Rome. No? So, an ano lang siya, walking distance. So, siguro, ang, ang iyang distansya, ang muna nga itong parokya, dala lang siguro sa may tindalapas. No? So, ginalakal lang naman ina, no? to visit no? the tomb or the remains of St. Paul. And also, I was able to enter the St. Peter's Basilica no? sa Roma mismo. No? Dati ginalanta ko lang ina sa libro o ma mabasahan ko lang. No? But at the time, no, I could not explain my feelings to enter that kind of big basilicas, no? the history of our faith, no? the pillars of the church like Paul and Peter. Nga itong subungang nasiliblar ang ilang solemnidad. No? To amaze to see these things. No? Even the very beginning of the foundation of the church in Rome. No? Kinakapanao kami sa catacombs. No? Kung sa diin, ginalubong ang mga santo, mga santo papa dati. No? And we are able to visit this historical place. No? Ito ka na ibalas ang feeling, no? Dati nga, gina-imagine gina mo lang nga dito ka lang. No? But now, 
I said to myself, no, this is it. I'm able no, to leave behind my footprints sa St. Peter's Square. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we honor both Peter, Prince of Apostles, and Paul, the Apostle of the Gentile of the nation, the one had denied the Master, and the other had persecuted him. The one who failed him through weakness and cowardice. The other failed him through ignorance and prejudice. The mighty Spirit of God, by His grace, transformed Peter and Paul into beacons of light to the whole, for the whole world to see and praise the goodness and greatness of God. Saints Peter and Paul are the two most well-known saints. They each play a special important role in building up the early church. Saint Peter was a simple fisherman, but then Jesus called him and Peter followed. No? May nakita si Jesus kay Pedro no? why he chose Peter, no? the jewel in his heart. Even though hindi siya karapat dapat, no? hindi siya takus kag angay. No? Ang ginoo wala yan nagsala sa pagpili kay Pedro. No? There is something in Peter why the Lord chose him. Peter became the leader of the apostles and the very first pope. No? Nagiging Santo Papa pa siya. No? There are many beautiful stories about St. Peter. He was one of the witnesses of the transfiguration of Jesus. And also Peter witnessed many of Jesus' miracles in the first hand. And he even walked on the water. But Peter was also present during the agony in the garden. St. Peter was one of the first to proclaim that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. Many of us maybe identify closely to St. Peter because he was often impulsive, reckless, or confused. He was a truly human. And there is a beautiful saying about him. God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the call. He qualifies the call. Peter may not have seemed qualified, but Jesus was deeper than human do. We often see only others surface value. And Jesus sees sees deep into our hearts. Peter have many failed often. He even denied Jesus. Ito ang pinakamasaklap, no? You deny your master. Harap-harapan pa pala, no? But even sa ginobran ni Pedro sa iya, no? The Lord still loves Peter, no? There are times, but in the end, however, he remained steadfast to Jesus, whom he loved very much, and eventually died a martyr. The Romans were going to crucify Peter, but when he realized, he asked them to crucify, to crucify him up, up the, ano, uh, upside down. No? Kaya ang siling hindi siya worthy ng agin pareho kay Jesus sa paglansang sa Cruz. No? So, ginlan siya sa nga baliskad. No? So, muna ang iyang how he died, no? how he martyred. Because he did not think that he was worthy in the exact same way as Jesus. Of course, St. Paul is a powerful testament 
to the power of Jesus and the great love God has for each one of us. Paul, when he was still called Saul, persecuted Christians very much. Kumbaga, kung sa atun bala, we have our own conversion stories. Like St. Paul, no? try also to ask yourself, no? what is your own conversion story? Do you have your own Damascus journey? No? Like St. Paul, no? he was converted from the ardent persecutor to become Paul. No? When he was still called Saul, Saul was traveling in the great light from heaven, surrounded from the light, he heard a voice and saying, Soul, soul, why have you persecuting me? Why are you persecuting me? This was Jesus speaking and soon after Saul was baptized and received the name Paul. Paul spent the rest of his life bringing the good news to the Gentiles. Paul was dedicated to his work, all the energy he put into persecuting Christians, he placed into the converting the Gentiles. God can tell all of us to matter what we have done and work great things through us. As we celebrate the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, we should remind us of our call to be witnesses and Jesus calls all of us to love him, to follow him and bring him to others. We must not be afraid to make Christ known and love through the world just like Saints Peter and Paul. They both gave their lives for Jesus in ultimate sacrifice. These two great pillars of the church show us that's not no, not matter how much we have failed. It is never too late to turn toward our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way that will lead us to heaven and to the eternal life. Amen. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for, pray for us. us.